Hello, my name is Elite. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you past perfect tense in the English language. For this tense, I'll show you the form, its different uses, and I'll share with you example sentences to help you fully understand it. So, if you're ready, let's begin. Now I'm going to explain all the aspects of past perfect tense. What is the past perfect tense? The past perfect tense is used to show that something happened before another action in the past. It can also be used to show that something happened before a specific time in the past. Now let me explain the sentence making formula of past perfect tense. The formula for past perfect tense when the sentence starts with any subject I, we, you, they, he, she, it, common, proper nouns or plural followed by helping verb had, then a verb in its third form followed by an object which is optional. Let us see some examples of past perfect tense. I had run every weekend. We had walked slowly. You had played football. They had read books. Boys had gone to school regularly. He had got up early every day. She had loved to play basketball. It had run fast. Alex had brushed her teeth twice a day. My father had gone to gym every day. Now let me explain the conversion formula of past perfect tense sentences into negative sentences. For converting these sentences into negative sentences, the formula is when the sentence starts with any subject I, we, you, they, he, she, it, common, proper nouns or plural followed by helping verb had plus not then a verb in its third form, followed by an object which is optional. Let us see some examples of negative sentences of past perfect tense. I had not run every weekend. We had not walked slowly. You had not played football. They had not read books. Boys had not gone to school regularly. He had not got up early every day. She had not loved to play basketball. It had not run fast. Alex had not brushed her teeth twice a day. My father had not gone to gym every day. Now let me explain the conversion formula of past perfect tense sentences into interrogative sentences. For converting these sentences into interrogative sentences, the formula is that first you add had when there is any subject like I, we, you, they, he, she, it, common, proper nouns or plural then a verb in its third form followed by an object which is optional. The sentence ends with a question mark. Let us see some examples of interrogative sentences of past perfect tense. Had I run every weekend? Had we walked slowly? Had you played football? Had they read books? Had boys gone to school regularly? Had he got up early every day? Had she loved to play basketball? Had it run fast? Had Alex brushed her teeth twice a day? Had my father gone to gym every day? Now let me explain the conversion formula of past perfect tense sentences into negative interrogative sentences. For converting these sentences into negative interrogative sentences, the formula is that first you add had when there is any subject like I, we, you, they, he, she, it, common, proper nouns or plural then add not before the third form of a verb followed by an object which is optional. The sentence ends with a question mark. Let us see some examples of negative interrogative sentences of past perfect tense. Had I not run every weekend? Had we not walked slowly? Had you not played football? Had they not read books? Had boys not gone to school regularly? Had he not got up early every day? Had she not loved to play basketball? Had it not run fast? Had Alex not brushed her teeth twice a day? Had my father not gone to gym every day? If you like this lesson, give it a thumbs up by hitting the like button.
If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to get my latest lessons right here on YouTube. Happy learning and I will see you in another lesson soon.